A well-executed ESG program can have positive and lasting impacts on the communities and environment surrounding a mining project. Sabina Gold and Silver's initiatives at its Back River project in Nunavut are a prime example of a job well done. Sabina started consultation within the Katikmia community approximately 10 years ago, and we've held over 250 meetings with community members, primarily Inuit, building up the relationships, listening to their suggestions on the project, making changes, and really developing that close bond between the two parties. I think you have to establish the working relationships. You have to show that you're trustworthy. You have to show that what you say you actually do and that doesn't happen overnight. It's taken a long time to get to the point that I think we've earned the trust of the majority and the respect, hopefully, for those that maybe not even agree with the project in its whole, but to recognize that we are good stewards and we will listen to the constituents in the territory when we make decisions that could impact the project long term. Sabina has welcomed open and frank discussion and they have worked with us to identify solutions for our concerns to ensure the mine can operate in a responsible manner. The Back River Project is Sabina Gold and Silver's primary asset, which they acquired in the Katikmiut region of southwestern Nunavut in 2009. The company began community consultation right away, and programs have been implemented even before the mine is operational. One project involves increasing the char population at Bernard Harbor. Bernard Harbor was historically an indigenous fisheries. It was very important to Inuit dating back over a hundred years ago. But over the years, the isostatic rebound and climate change caused the river to essentially start to dry up, making it harder for char to move up and down it. So Sabina joined and partnered with the Kugluktuk hunters and trappers in order to essentially move rocks to allow fish channels so that char can move up and down the river more effectively. The fish stock has been increasing over the past two years. Caribou protection is also a key focus. Monitoring is carried out daily, and operations are changed to adjust for their movement and ensure there is no impact. So we would do things like if they're within a couple kilometers of site, we would stop our planes and our resupply for a couple hours. We could stop our heavy equipment. We could also stop blasting if they're really in close proximity to the open pit. But generally, when the caribou are in our area, they just migrate through. A number of community initiatives are in place from training and education programs to supporting community organizations. Sabina has been very supportive of our Nyawak Square Dance Group in Cambridge Bay, providing many donations over the years. Nyawak Square Dance Group is part of our culture, and we're able to continue practicing, performing, traveling, and connecting in large part because of the support from Sabina. They range from bingos to square dancing, to fishing derbies, to youth programs, to education programs, and Sabina participates in them in all different ways. Every year we support daycares with donations and we help them in other ways if they're running other events. And then from a food security standpoint, food security is really important within the communities. So helping them through food hampers and food bank donations and others, we do it every single year. With Sabina working in the area, they have been helping us get supplies from Yellowknife so that we can stay on the land longer and live more traditionally. As the Back River project progresses toward construction, the company will maintain its strong commitment to community programs, Inuit training and employment, and engaging Inuit businesses as suppliers. So as we get closer to a construction decision, we'll be ready for increasing our involvement in the community. So things like our donations programs and things will increase. We'll also be looking at rolling out more of the requirements of our impact benefit agreement with the Katikmeet Inuit Association, including more work with the high schools, apprenticeship programs, and other initiatives. Sabina's success in the community is built on strong partnerships and teamwork. We have a wonderful team that really cares, is able to connect with the community. Any of our decisions take into account their needs and I think trying to create a partnership so we can all be successful and, and move the project forward in a sustainable fashion. <laughs>